how Same. we end. Self-destruction. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be in a mushroom cloud. There are many ways to self-destruct. For example, I think we are in the thick of self-destruction by, for example, being, becoming totally isolated, totally atomized, very lonely, not interacting with each other, afraid of being traumatized, avoiding each other, retreating. I give, um, I give uh, in all my lectures, because I'm lazy, I give the same metaphor. Screens. When I was born, remember the dinosaurs, when I was born, there was this giant screen, and 2,000 of us entered the same place, and we ate popcorn, and we made out, I will not go into details, and so on. And we were watching the same screen, which was a shared experience. And we were talking, and by the way, we were smoking, <laughs> and everything, and then we went out. And this shared experience was recounted to family members and so whole families. It was like, you know, wonderful. It was, it was one screen. Ten years after that, the screen became much smaller. That screen was cinema. Then the screen became much smaller. And that screen was called television. And now, we couldn't get 2,000 people to watch television. So we had 30, 40. And these 30, 40 shared the same experience and ate popcorn and made out and went out and told family members. But it was much, much smaller resonance and a much lesser shared experience. And then 10 years later, the screen shrank again and it became the personal computer. And then only three people could share the experience and then it shrank again and only two could share. And now it shrank to the point that only one person can share this experience with himself, which is what we used to call when I was a child, masturbation. And, <laughs> and this screen, we have to hold like this. It's a design choice. Don't kid yourself. The screens could have been designed utterly differently, but it's a design choice. This screen separates us from the world. It's a firewall. It cuts us off. If you go to any airport, any airport, watch families, watch teenagers, gorgeous girls, and stunning boys paying no attention to each other. Sex is dead. Everything is dead. We live inside these screens. It's virtual reality. It's utter shared psychosis. You're telling me that we are not self-destroying? Are you kidding me? Dating among teenagers collapsed by 53%. Sexual acts among teenagers. This is life. Sex is the force of life. Sexual acts among teenagers collapsed by 60%. These are the studies of uh, Twinch, those of you who want to, and Campbell, those of you who want to. 60%. In, in several countries, 80 to 90% of people under the age of 24 never, ever interacted with the other sex. Japan. In the United Kingdom, 40% of teenagers prefer video games far more than dating a girl. Dating a girl is number four. These are signs of dying, of death. We are dying <laughs> alone, each one in his cubicle. We are dying. And you're telling me we're not self-destroying. This is much worse than any nuclear apocalypse. How many can you pill, kill with a nuclear apocalypse? But how many can you kill? By destroying sex, by destroying love, by destroying romance, by destroying interpersonal interactions, by isolating ourselves, by atomizing ourselves. There's nothing shared. Even when we go online, we go into bubbles, like-minded bubbles. There's no fertilization anymore. No interdisciplinarity. Nothing feeds. There's no food. We are consuming ourselves. This is what we call in biology aut aut autolysis. We are eating ourselves. And then we die. And that's the end of it. The apocalypse is here, don't you realize it? It's here. 